on the front. Okay, honey. It's the UBW Show. Welcome to the Sweet Visuals Photo Retouching Series. We are going over the Sharpen and Blur, Sharpen and Blur tool. <laughs> We're going over the Sharpen, Sharpen and Blur functionalities in photo retouching software. And I hope that you enjoy my photography along the way as well. I took this picture. I also helped to hand dip these strawberries. And let's begin. Enough talk. So first thing I want for you to do, if you choose to not want to make changes that may affect it in a negative way. I would suggest you right click, double click, duplicate layer, and then you'll be able to work from a copy of your image without messing it up completely and never having a change. This is a copy, so I feel comfortable without making any changes. The first thing I'd like to do is sharpen and blur. There are some areas I'm 100% fine with not being clear, and others where I'm just not too happy about them not being sharp. So the first thing I like to do is soften up a little bit of everything. So I'm going to hit the blur tool right there. I'm going to choose the strength. I never like to start at 100. Always like to start and work my way up. So I start low. I'm in normal mode. I'm choosing a soft brush. Photoshop is a little bit slow. I'm choosing a soft brush and we're just going to go Hit the bracket button and just soften the look of the chocolate. The chocolate does not look nice and smooth, and I, I'm not appreciating that. This might have not been the best actual image to show blurring, but I don't know what I was thinking when I chose this. <laughs> this would not be the right one. I just wanted to blur the texture of the chocolate just a bit. So if the strength is not showing up, we'll then increase it. So let's say you like to see the texture of the chocolate. Now another thing you can do overall to, to affect the picture overall is literally use your filter, filter, blur. Favorite one for many, many photo retouchers is the smart blur, the Bosch and blur. If I say so, play around with it. Let's see what happens. If we use a gauge and blur, ooh, that does not look like strawberries. It looks like something strange. It's a joke, but I can't tell what I'm doing. Um, or saying, I should say. So you could blur your image using the gauge and blur like this at 11, 1, just a little bit. I don't really know why you'd want to do that, but. Let's say you want to use this as a backdrop and you like to put some text over it, like great strawberries, chocolate chip strawberries, and you don't want it to be 100% clear so it does not compete with the text. There you go. Just as a backdrop, boom, you have the gauze and blur strawberries. Let's pretend that I want that. Let's put a new layer, for example. Let's get some text. Let's get a good color, like. Hey, would you please hurry up? The system's a little slow. Okay, or maybe not. Okay, let's pick a fun color like, like bright pink or yellow. Bright green, bright, bright, thank you, green. And let's choose for our text, uh, smell round hand. That's not really fun enough, but um, that's all right. Let's go for something fun, fun, fun. Let's go for schoolhouse. Yay. Let's make the text uh, 14, larger, 36, 36, 24, okay, <laughs> I have um, a memory that often imitates music and 
So I don't mean much by what I have to say. <laughs> anyway, great strawberry, great sweets. Try how about that? Great sweets. And moving it here, I don't like that size, but we can try and highlight it if it will let us. And we can go bigger. No text. All right. In any case, let's just pretend that you wanted to be able to use something that would allow you to see it large. Let's go to window just very briefly since I'm supposedly showing you how to make changes in Photoshop. <laughs> and in here, in your character palette, let me drag it so you can see it, please. I'm just going to type an enormous number like 132. Great, sweet, yay, and I want it to be bold. Wonderful, and it's actually not large enough. Let's say 200 points. Thank you, that's good enough. And let's say we want it to be something more interesting like wide Latin. Now we're talking, I think. All right, and we hit. And boom. So there we go. There is a good example for why perhaps you might want your image to be blurred out because you don't want the image to compete 100% with what it's right on top of. Great sweets, woohoo. And now that I have text in there, I'm gonna hit enter to commit it. It affects very quickly. So <laughs> I didn't expect to be uh, showing you how to create an advertisement, but I mean, why not? Why not make an advertisement? You can put a stroke there. You can put an outer glow. Yeah, no, maybe, maybe not. You can put a devil and emboss, which, ooh, I like. So there, folks, you, you can start to understand why, perhaps, you might want to blur an image out, but we also don't have a lot of time, so you may want to make your image crisp and clear and sharper, perhaps. For what particular reason, I honestly don't know. But hey, whatever works for you. It's cool. Great sweets. You can choose maybe another color that suits you. A red. A, I kind of like the red. Deepish, deep. Very nice. Okay. Woo. So there you go. Great sweets. And then you've got the blurry image behind it for whatever reason. And it's just giving you the illusion. And you've got yourself a nice postcard or a nice great image, maybe a button for the web. Who knows? Whatever, whatever works for you. Woo. Great sweets. Yum. Um, you can also make changes to your characters so that they <laughs> they are perhaps not hey don't ding that's not what I'm asking so that they perhaps don't right oops you can change the size of the character here um, As well as over here and over here in terms of how close or how far apart your letters are from each other I'm actually increasing because I like to see space between the letters I also like the text to be larger I'm going to decrease the amount of space between each letter because it looks strange to me. Great, sweet, and just manually change it myself. Great, sweet. <laughs> I 
I think it's so funny that I decided to call it retweet. I don't really know why. Probably because it's late. Uh-huh. And boom, there you go. So nothing fantastic, but there's a blurred image over, boom, it's blurred image. And how much time do we have? Oh, we still have five more minutes. So there's an example as to why you may want to blur your background image. I'm going to go back over to our layer palette, please. And close up the effects by clicking on it. On it. One time, I should make this smaller. My system kind of slow, and I'm also going to make another duplicate layer of the background. Yes, background copy. Woo hoo! And the background copy. Oops. Guess what? <laughs> I actually made the background. 100 i made the effects on the actual background so they're blurred so right now what i'm going to do is go to blur i'm going to look for um sharpen here we go filter sharpen let's see if we can see any effect not really <laughs> filter sharpen smart sharpen Uh -huh. So this is what will allow you to make the changes to make your image sharp again or sharper than it was before. Let's zoom in. We have definitely lost a lot of the um, <laughs> a lot of the detail that was there before. So let's say you want to have that old-fashioned vintage feel. And you can increase the radius. Now you've got like an old cartoonish kind of look. You can see right there, actually, I've changed the whole look of the item. So depending on what, what kind of feel and look you're going for, this could work for you. I'll leave it as, I'll leave it as the old fashioned looking great sweeps from like the 1950s. A great color. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching this sweet visual series. It's time for me to go. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to do basic photo retouching. I have lots of knowledge I'm willing to share. And just send a message, subscribe, like, add, social media me. And thanks for being so sweet. Have a good morning, evening, day, or night. Whatever you do, do it big, do it well. Bye-bye. W show yeah. It's almost on. Okay, honey.